to look at a question like this, okay? Uh, I'm going to do it two ways. I'm going to do it two ways. Firstly, I'm just going to do it the straight way that I showed you before, okay? Which is to multiply the numerator and then multiply the denominator. This will work. It will give us the right answer, okay? But as you'll see in a minute, there's another way to do this. 9 times 5. 45. 45, very good. 6 times 10 is 60. Okay, now this is correct. The answer is 45 over 60, but we can simplify this a little bit, can't we? Okay, you would think, yeah, Daniel, what do you suggest? Okay, you can go, you go straight to 3 over 4 if you see 45 is a multiple of 15 and 60 is also a multiple. Of 15. So if you divide this one by 15 and you divide this one by 15, you'll get three quarters just like Daniel said. Okay, however, to get to that a bit faster and to avoid these like, you know, 45 and 60, they're not so bad. But sometimes the numbers on the numerator and denominator, they can get ginormous, right? So here's what I would recommend instead. Rewind, right? Go back to the original question. Before you multiply anything, you simplify. Yeah, do this simplifying step. Do it first. Make the numbers smaller before you multiply rather than doing it afterwards, okay? So for instance, I see 10 and 5. Both multiples of 5, right? So I would replace this 10 with a 2 and I would replace the 5 with a 1. I can also do it with these two, right? What's the common divisor? 3. I'd replace this with 3 and this with 2. So now all I'm left with is 3 times 1 and 2 times 2, which is a lot easier to compute. Okay, quick question. Um, you know like when you, find, when you uh, change the, the numbers, can you also do that when they're next to each other? Or? No, no you can't. And I'd like you to think of an example of why that is. Draw it out and you'll see what happens. Alright, one last quick note, a reciprocal, just in case you could not remember, it's fine, it's a funny word you don't use very often. A reciprocal is where you take a number and you switch the numerator and the denominator, you switch the top and the bottom. So for example, the reciprocal of three quarters would be 4 over 3, four, three. Uh, 4 thirds. Okay. One of the questions is, what happens when you multiply a number by its reciprocal? And no matter what number you start with, except for zero, okay, what happens? When you do the numerators, you're going to get, in this case, 12. Yeah, and this will also become 12, so it'll be 12 over 12, which is 1 over 1, which is always 1. Whenever you multiply a number by its reciprocal, you'll always get 1. Except for zero, what, what's wrong with zero? Because zero times zero is zero. Yeah, number one, zero times anything is zero. Secondly, zero doesn't have a reciprocal, because then you'd be like, divide by zero? That's a bit of a problem. Like you can ask me later one.